Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. This is the weekly landscape update video I do on this yard that I moved to in the late fall or early winter of last year. Most of the uh, progress in the landscape has been done since this uh, 2020 uh, started and I do a weekly landscape update here. There is a playlist on my channel that I'll link up here if you're watching on YouTube called New House and uh, it has all the videos in it if you want to catch up. A lot of the videos I've done with drones so you can see down uh, uh, on it and how I laid it out and that kind of thing. And each week it moves forward a little bit. Uh, I definitely will have a video, um, well, today you're watching this one. Uh, I'll have one next Wednesday. The week after that I will be out of town and I will probably maybe skip a couple weeks um, doing these uh, update videos because I'll be out of town for a little while. So the progress will probably slow down a little bit. The other thing is there'll be another video this Friday uh, putting the drone back up over the front yard and showing you the progress that I've made so far. I put the drone up in a video a couple weeks ago and uh, I'll link that one up here uh, showing how I was going to start on the front yard, how it's going to move forward. And uh, uh, I've made some progress out there, some annuals and went in and other things went in. So some, uh, and I now know the direction I'm going to take the rest of the front yard. And I just kind of want to lay that out with the drone in a separate video. And then on these Wednesday videos, you'll see how it moves forward uh, after that. So uh, this past week, there was a pretty big progress here made. Um, unfortunately, I had to replace my HVAC uh, right here on the uh, back of the house. It's a slightly smaller unit. And the big thing for me is it's actually much, much quieter. And uh, this uh, porch, um, I, I was considering moving the whole unit around to the outside, um, but uh, I trusted that the new unit would be quieter. And it is, so when you're sitting in the sc new screen porch back here, it's nice <laughs> when the AC comes on. You don't, you can you can hear yourself think. The old unit had been there for a long time, and uh, it was it was time. In the process of doing that, I got this area cleaned up. This had been the uh, junk pile back here, uh, where I had just not shown as I have, you know, lead the camera around. I just not show in this space. I had all the uh, construction material from doing the porch in the back of the house and uh, plants that were being staged to plant here or there. All of that stuff has been cleared out and I'm ready to actually put some pieces in there. So you'll see that uh, over the next few weeks. Uh, let's see, from there, um, uh, the uh, cattle panels. I, I had talked about doing a Florida weave on my tomatoes uh, this year. And then I one morning woke up and decided I wanted to use cattle panels instead. Cattle panels are 16 feet long. I cut them in half into eight foot sections and I have them on the uh, poles that I have from various greenhouse projects I've done. Uh, over the years and I've started to train the tomatoes up in there. They look great. Uh, I'll show you some tomato pruning uh, next week in next week's video, um, you know, removing the suckers and making sure I just have single leaders. Those cattle panels are not tall enough. I'd really prefer if they were another couple, another couple feet higher than they are, uh, but I will take the tomatoes and actually run them uh, horizontal at times and then vertical and then back like this. That will gain me some height. Uh, and then uh, I may have to go up above and, and put something up there uh, later in the season. We'll see how that goes. Uh, also put the um, uh, more peppers into the uh, garden over here. I've still got my lettuce and everything over here. Like I've said several times, because I'm letting it come to seed, it has come to seed, and uh, I'll be collecting that seed later. You'll see that on these Wednesday videos or some separate video perhaps collecting, collecting the uh, seed on those things. I also put in um, uh, some basil over there uh, that I had done from seed. Uh, let's see what else went in over there. The okra, I think, was on last Wednesday's uh, video. There's some more beans that went in, and I'm going to be putting in some uh, uh, bamboo uh, uprights uh, for some of the climbing beans. The other beans that I planted against the fence are already starting to climb uh, in the fence, and so uh, they're well on their way. It just has been super cool. The 10-day forecast, <laughs> I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina. It should be in the upper 80s every day at this point and on our way to sustained 90s, uh, and somehow... Uh, I think the warmest day in the next 10 is 81. Uh, so, you know, I'm not complaining. It's, it's great. Uh, it's not necessarily uh, tomato and pepper weather, but the beans and the peas, and I'm still picking lettuce, you know, almost June. It should have bolted and really be collecting the seed by now. We're going to be uh, a couple weeks later than normal collecting the seed, which is no, no big deal at all, other than it's still in the way of growing other things. That's life. The uh, potatoes over there look absolutely fantastic. When you're growing, um, plants in grow bags. Keep in mind they will take more water. Those grow bags just really, uh, the air is able to move through those bags and dry the soil out rather quickly. So uh, I haven't had to water anything in the ground because we're getting uh, 
pretty regular rainfall right now, but those grow bags with the potatoes in them, even after a night where it rains, by the late the next day, uh, they need water and they need water right now. Uh, let's see, I think that's it for the, uh, the vegetable garden. Uh, the, uh, uh, I put in, I had a lot of annuals I had purchased for a project in the front yard and I had some shade annuals left from planting all the containers. So back here, I plugged in some, uh, uh, some impatiens and coleus and terrenia and uh, a few more uh, a few more begonias uh, back there and so all that area along that little shade path along that path back there where it's shady uh, is going to just be nothing but color this yard's actually going to kind of be kind of a clown college color uh, <laughs> in a few weeks when it finally gets hot I have put a lot of flowering things in here it is going to be it's going to be very showy or very tacky, uh, one or the other. Uh, I think everything matches well in the, in the, in the groupings, um, but you know it's going to be super, super colorful. Uh, planted some hibiscus that I had done from seed uh, over here, um, a uh, some bee balm, and some uh, annual salvia as well over here. So uh, those things were put in to attract uh, butterflies and pollinators of all sorts, hummingbirds, uh, definitely to the, uh, to the salvia. So like I say, there's a lot, there's a lot of color, uh, back here. Then it started, moved around and started, uh, on the front and, uh, did kind of a ridiculously large annual bed up there. The spot where the maple tree was, where the stump got ground out. Uh, I don't want to plant shrubs in there quite yet. The, uh, the wood is about this deep. Uh, I'd really like for that stuff to break down a little bit before I start putting shrubs or a new tree back into place. And I'm deciding on a tree. There is a tree going back there. Haven't decided yet. Um, going through a list in my mind, almost a daily basis, I, I will change. I'm thinking about a single trunk service berry. So a service berry that's been tree formed. Uh, that's, you know, at the top of the list right this minute. Uh, and it, it's a, a native. Uh, but so in, in the meantime, I took containers that were in the backyard back here, out there, put them in the center of the bed. Uh, those are ready for drip irrigation, and I'm going to run drip irrigation out there, same as I'm going to be doing in the back. Uh, and then I put all flowering annuals throughout that bed, and uh, a lot of different, a lot of different pieces, and somehow ended up on an orange, uh, kind of an orange and yellow uh, theme. Uh, normally, I end up with uh, blues and uh, purples and white uh, and pinks, and somehow that grouping out there is completely different. Uh, than something I would normally do, but I think it's going to look really, really good. Uh, so excited to see how that comes along. Fertilized all of these things, all of these newly planted uh, annuals, all the new things that have gone into the vegetable garden, all of the annuals in the front yard, all of those things have been fertilized. So I think I'm up to date. Everything has a slow release fertilizer on it that will last uh, the rest of the season. Uh, what else do I have? Um, the giant annual bed. I think that that is uh, everything that was accomplished here this week, and it was a lot. Uh, this place has really changed and I back this camera up every week a little bit more and uh, I'm now comfortable I think turning it 365 degrees obviously you know the fence is you know going to be replaced and that that back line I think I'm going to do that back line first and so that back line fence as soon as I get back from my Gulf Coast trip I think I'm going to pull that fence off on the back and go ahead and do the wood fence back there just so my backgrounds on these videos will be nicer and uh, get this greenhouse underway. I think you can barely see the greenhouse. I haven't started on it yet. Uh, I'd gotten the shade cloth in. I still need to paint it. I still need lots of things, lots of things to do on that. Uh, but so that's it for the uh, Wednesday landscape update. Again, there's going to be an extra video on Friday showing the drone layout for the front yard, how, it, how that thing's going to come together. And then you'll see it come together on these, uh, on these Wednesday uh, videos. But I'm pretty excited about my plans for the uh, for the front yard coming up again there'll be a, a weekly a weekly video next wednesday the weekly update video and then uh, the following wednesday there won't be one next week i may just take the camera around and just show you everything uh, from one side of the to the other of what's been done uh, so far thanks very much for uh, following along with these uh, update videos